Good afternoon. I'm Sangeet Chopra from Cybergeo Technologies. I am the ethical hacker by profession. Now, you know, this word hacker is itself having a negative impression, or you can say a perception. Yes or no? Right? When I talk about a hacker, people see a guy sitting with a hood on a laptop and hacking someone's account, right? That is what you imagine. But that's not the case. I'm an ethical hacker. Now, this ethical and hacker are two words that are contradictory. How come hacking can be ethical, right? So problem is people actually do not know the meaning of hacking. People do not know the actual meaning of hacking, right? Uh, every day we get a news, we see a news, we see print media, something that, uh, that Gmail got hacked, Yahoo got hacked, Snapchat got hacked. Now we had some speakers, uh, dignitaries who spoke about their portals, as in there was a guy from CoCubes, right? Uh, he have an online portal on which he is having his business, right? We had someone else, I, I forgot the name. Uh, yeah, something that, right? Uh, she had her business online, right? That means we people are addicted to technology. We cannot live without mobiles. Can you? Can you live without mobiles? No. Everyone have two or three mobiles in their pockets, right? Uh, not two or three, then uh, at least one, right? Uh, we cannot reside without internet. Internet is our life, next to our wife, right? Uh, but it's, it's, it is having that much a point. Importance in our life, jitna hamari wife ki hai, right? Uh, now, unfortunately, this digital world is developed by us, right? Uh, this is a world that is developed by us, and unfortunately, as per the statistics of Computer Emergency Response Team India, as in certain, in past six months, approximately 9,000 websites has been hacked. 9,000 websites that have dot in domain. You know what I mean? Dot in, as in who have extension like cybercure dot in, have been hacked. How come hackers can hack these websites? Now, I'll tell you how I became hacker. This will give you a criteria how actually hackers hack websites. The first hack that I did was, uh, perception of hackers is that they are criminals, it's the wrong activity. That is because of the media actually, media prints that uh, website has been hacked. No one ever printed a Sangeet Chopra saved a website, right? I did when it, VAPT and saved a website, no one ever printed that. So you do not know that there are good people who are actually hackers, right? Uh, now how I got into hacking, basically my first hack was when I was in 9th, or I guess in 10th, that will be 16, sweet 16. And you know, I had a craze about a world named as pornography. Right? And I had my board's exam in 10th, I guess. Yes, 10th. That was 10th. And my parents locked my computer, the BIOS password. Do you know what is BIOS password? It's a password that you need to enter when you switch on your computer, right? The most difficult password to crack in a computer. You have to use hardware to crack it, right? You need to remove the batteries. But I cannot do it. I was, in, I was just in 10th. And I had a keyboard at my place that was named as Cherry Keyboard. It's the best technology in keyboard, right? What happens in Cherry Keyboard, when you type, it makes sound, tuck, 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 right? Now what I, I did, I used my senses, when, when my parents typed the password, I tried to count the characters, right? And what I found was that one sound was similar, you know what I mean, right? They were typing one character twice, and I tried my old password with repeating every character one by one, and I got the success, right? Very easy thing, I, I just guessed my password, you know. So that was the starting of my hacking career, actually. I didn't know that it was hacking, bola jata, but that happened, right? Then a new technology came in the world named as telephones. Actually, it was old, but in my home, it was a new technology, right? We got landlines, and then eventually in 11th, I got my first girlfriend. Culprit for everything, right? <laughs> Girlfriends and money are the two things that are culprit for every you know, fraud happening in this world, <laughs> right? No, th that's a fact, that's a truth, right? Uh, so what I did, I, I started calling her, right? We were school kids, I started calling her. We used to talk complete nights and my approximate bill was 10,000 rupees, right? I was in worse to be killed by my parents, <laughs> but they felt petty and their step was, they locked the keypad. <laughs> now thinking that I cannot, you know, call, but I have that you know, malicious intent at that point of time to give a call, or you can say I was notorious. So what I did, I used the technology of DTMF. You know DTMF? 
right when you dial a number on a number pad you can listen to a sound to 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 right actually phone recognize that sound now if you have a mobile phone with you when you press a number same sound is there right so if you put your mobile phone on the mic of the phone and you dial a number on a mobile phone it will be dialed in the landline you can try it at your home it will work it will still work right it works even now right and again i can talk to my girlfriend and that leads to a uh, you know it ignite a fire inside me that yes we can fool the machines and computers that it's very easy to fool the computers and machines right but eventually eventually what i realized was that no you cannot reason is machines computers robots they work on a protocol protocol means rules and regulations designed by humans right that means technically we are fooling a human brain not a computer right so what actually hackers can do is they can fool you by fooling your human brain right 99% hacking done in this world is not on servers they are on clients they fool you right so what you need to do is and i i had a discussion lots of people i had taught approximately 1 lakh people up to now all over india and abroad right the only thing i teach them is learn hacking to stay secure you cannot stay secure dependent on me right i'll i'll show you a demonstration what hackers can do to you right uh, it's fun what i'll be showing at this point time of time is dangerous i i started doing this attack in 2007 it's approximately 8 years old attack but still fascinating right uh, this this attack is named as spoofing the caller identity on a mobile phone right everyone have a mobile phone i need a volunteer to do this can i have a volunteer okay we have a volunteer yes you can come okay uh, what i'll be doing is now you use smartphone or a basic handset or anything like that i do not need to care about which phone do you have i do not need to care care about which you know uh, isp or you can say service provider vodafone airtel what do you use i do not care about that right i do not care whether your phone is on or off what i need is your dad's mobile number over here <laughs> i need a dad i i won't call him that's my promise right you just need to give me your dad's mobile number you have to write it over here right is your dad's mobile number saved in your mobile phone i know that's a stupid question still right it can be dangerous you know so he he gave me his dad's mobile number all right now unfortunately hopefully is there any way we can see your screen on the projection i don't think so so what i'll be doing is i have his dad's mobile number he just gave me his dad's mobile number that's all do you think i know his dad do you think i have his dad's mobile with me no but what i'll be doing is i'll be calling him from his dad's mobile number right he'll get a call and he'll get a call from his dad's mobile number you can pick the call and you can talk to your dad right so uh I have a virtual phone. I have a software phone, and it's a very common technology used in every call center at this point of time. Every BPO is using this technology, and uh, I'm calling him from my virtual phone. Can you put your number in this phone, right? And he himself will be calling him actually. You have done that, yes. right? And I'll give him a call. and listen to the ring kindly maintain silence you'll listen to the ring hopefully phone. his phone is ringing is that ringing are you sure that's your mobile number this one yes are you sure yes. no it's not yours you didn't write india with 91 now type it again <laughs> right so you have to give, give the country code i could have called anyone in this world right so i'll give him a call again and put it on ringer if possible yeah, yeah, put it, put it. okay and i'll get a call in some time hopefully and is getting a call from you can you can go downstairs right no no i i know and his dad is calling i guess right so can you can you pick this call and you can talk to his dad right talk to his dad do some complaints that is not working in a good manner right
Hi, shall he'll pick the car? Hello. Yeah, hi sir, how are you? You hear very loudly, sir. Sorry, come again? <laughs> right. Uh, what I mean to say is, thanks Lord, I disconnected, right? <laughs> he was talking to me, right? And the number that was displayed was his dad's. <coughs> now just think about it. Now this technology can do anything you want to, right? I can make fool out of people. I can, you know, create, I can make people have divorce because of this technology, <laughs> right? I can do whatever I want to because authenticity of mobile is gone. And this is the latest technology, mobile phone. And this attack I'm doing from past approximately five to six years. I've already informed lots of people, but there is no, no stop to this attack. You cannot stop this attack because internet is connected worldwide, wide, right? If I'll stop it in India, there'll be Ministry of IT and Com in India. If I'll use a server of Malaysia, or you can say South Africa, where we do not have any law, cyber law, we do not have, right? If we talk about Nigeria, we can use their servers and do the attack again, right? So you cannot stop this attack. So what is the countermeasure? How will you secure yourself? The only way is learn hacking yourself. Learn what is hacking. So to do this, now I, I got the solution. To do this, uh, I started a venture named as Cyber Cure Technologies. Name itself explains itself. It's Cyber Cure Technologies. That is cure yourself in cyber world, right? And I taught approximately one lakh people. But unfortunately, people come to me and want to study this, not the security part, right? I have taught approximately 1 lakh people, out of which 50,000 people know how to hack Facebook. But they do not know how to secure their own Facebook. <laughs> right? Now human nature is that you go towards negative thinking. Right? If I'm teaching you a technique just for the security purpose, you won't get security out of it. You'll get a malicious intention out of it. And that is why hackers have a, you have a bad perception for hackers. Right? Uh, now, the only golden rule that we have in the world of hacking is we cannot hack those who have same knowledge as we have, right? If I want to hack you and you know the attack, my attack, you, you, I cannot attack you, right? Because you already know that this is an attack happening in front of me, right? Uh, there, there are lots of viruses going on in market at this point of time, like ransom virus is one of them. Ransom viruses, you, you will be bullied to pay money in their account, right? Every day people get mails that you have won a Coca-Cola ticket, right? Do you get that? Yes. Who's sending you these mails? And why are they sending you these mails, right? They, they do a mass mailing to 100 people and out of 100, 15 people will reply. And those 15 are more than enough for, to, be, to be fooled, right? They're earning, that, that is their business. Now, why are they successful? Because out of those 100, 70 people ignored that. Five people were intelligent and knew it's a phishing mail, or you can say, a, you know, mail that is to trace you. And 15 were the fools who do not know anything, right? Every day, I get a mail or a message or a call. Sir, my Facebook got hacked. Sir, someone made a fake profile of mine, right? Now social media, social, sorry, social networking is a huge platform, right? For everything, for marketing, for business plans, for getting in touch with good people, but it have cons as well, right? If I'll make a fake profile of yours, it is not asking for an, an, any identity, right? What will you do? Do you know the countermeasures? Do you know what to do, whom to approach? Our government, is, has started working on it, and I'm in touch with you know lots of uh, educational industries like CBSC. You know about CBSC, right? I'm in touch with CBSC. They are impaneling cyber security in schools. Means the student of sixth will start studying cyber security. Reason being, you need to learn this as your course curriculum. Once you know what is cyber, cyber, you know, attacks or what is hacking, you can secure yourself very easily, right? So there's only one thing that can secure you. If you're a normal user, people attack you and you, you will be gone. If you are a white hat hacker, that is a ethical hacker just like me, they'll try to attack you, but their attack will bounce back and go back to them, right? So the only security to in this cyber world is 
by learning hacking yourself right else security is just a feeling it does not exist in the actual world right if you want to feel secure or if i'll make it much more clear if you want to make it difficult to crack learn hacking yourself right thanks a lot thank you